Hi guys, so you have seen my Christmas gift guide for her and today I'm going to be doing one for him. I haven't got quite as many gifts kind of like in my hand to show you for him but I've got quite a few ideas right now on my phone and um, kind of what I've done for Bradley in the past or things you can kind of get for any kind of man in your life. So this is going to be for boyfriends, dads, brothers, that kind of thing, friends. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd show you some bits and bobs that I have got for people in my life and also things that are just really good ideas. The first thing I thought I'd show you is a photo frame. This is the one that I actually have on my bedside table. This is just for me and Bradley, just pretty much in a boring photo frame. This is just to represent photo frames. Um, I think getting someone a nice picture is a really nice idea. I think you can do it really nicely if you pick a really nice picture. Um, I think it's a great idea. Um, and yeah, I just, I think a really like, maybe not in this frame, which is from Ikea, that's like two pounds. Um, but like in a nice frame, nice picture, I think it does look really, really nice. I think another really nice gift is if you've kind of taken a picture of someone. Um, for example, I took a really nice picture of my little cousin um, and I'm going to like give like his mum that for Christmas um because I just think it's a really nice idea so kind of you've done that kind of thing I think it's a great idea um some other things I've got here are kind of more oh god his heads fell off uh, but um more um tv related presents uh, me and Bradley are obsessed with Breaking Bad we absolutely love it and he got me this Jesse bobblehead uh last year for Christmas for Christmas I think um and I really like him he sits on my bedside table and he just makes me happy when his head wobbles away um and yeah i just think kind of tv related presents are a really good idea if you watch a series together um i think it's just really good to have something get a present that relates to it um and especially if you go on etsy if you've never heard of etsy where have you lived but uh, you probably have um and on there there's kind of like more personalised presents, you can get presents that are a bit different, they're kind of made by people um, and stuff like that and I just think it's a really nice idea um, and I don't know, you can just get nicer presents I think um, from like Etsy, I buy a lot of kind of stocking fillers and just random presents for people really from Etsy just because as I say like there is a lot of personalised things or things that maybe you've searched everywhere else for, can't find anything, Etsy is bound to have like one seller that's doing that thing. Um, I then have these um, and these are from a company called Art to Glass. I got these in the Arndale, so they're not like sponsored at all. But um, these are basically glass coasters, um, and they've got kind of like loads of different prints. These are all related to like um, like mod kind of things, um, and like Lambrettas and stuff like that. Uh, these were my dad for Christmas. Um, but yeah, I really really like these. I think it's a really nice idea if you get something that relates to someone again. Um, they're coasters, by the way. Um, if I didn't say that already, but yeah, really nice thing to relate to someone. Um, just a really nice gift I think, maybe not for someone, like, I wouldn't get coasters for my brother for example because he wouldn't use any coasters, whereas my dad, he has an office, he has a house, he would put the coasters in his house um, so I just think that's quite a good idea Another thing we've got here is aftershave. You're always going to get aftershave. Um, I think it's a great present. I think as well if you know someone really likes a certain aftershave, it's a good idea to get. Um, this is Givenchy Play. Um, I really like the women's version of this. And the men's version is really nice. The bottle's really nice as well. I'm not going to get it out, but it is a really, not, really nice fragrance. Um, but yeah, just any kind of aftershave. Um, especially on Black Friday, there were so many deals. I got this from Secret Sales on a really good deal. I've mentioned Secret Sales before. Um, when I got all my Mac stuff and did a Mac haul, loads of you were really interested in it. So I'm going to leave a link down below. Uh, if you've never heard of it, it's basically they do daily kind of sales that last for kind of like five days at a time uh, where you kind of they have like 70% or something or 30% or something and at the moment they've got some really good ones like they've got like beauty stock and fillers so they've got Victoria's Secret body lotions on there and scrubs and shower gels they've got a uh, Ciate nail polishes and the Olivia I can never say her name pa Palo, palace, palace something. Her um, lipsticks and her eyeshadow palettes um, are on there, like really, really discounted. I think the lipsticks are reduced from 19 to 9, um, and they're all Kylie Jenner ish shades, uh, like brownie nudes. Um, so, yeah, it's a really, really great website. So, um, I really like it. I've been on there so much for Christmas presents. So many people's Christmas presents have come from Secret Sales this year. So, yeah, if you're interested, I'll leave it a down below. And this came from there. Um, but, yeah, as I was saying, aftershave as a whole is something I absolutely love. Um, what else have we got here? 
phone cases. Um, this one is um, Aston Villa because that's who my family support. Uh, this one is for my dad. Um, but he, for example, had one of his phone before, got a new phone, and he hasn't got a new one. So I know he'll really appreciate that. Um, phone cases, you can get like different ones. Um, on the website Casetify, um, you can get kind of ones that have got pictures on the back of them. So I used to have one for my phone um, when, like, about a year and a half ago, I had one for my 5S. Obviously, I now have a 6 Plus, so I can't pop that one back on there but it had loads of different pictures of like all people in my life and you can like create different designs and stuff it's a really nice idea for um, a mum or a dad really um, that you can get some on a phone case I think it's just a really cute idea I think some of those like cheaper phone cases that you can get on eBay and stuff which are personalised you've got one big picture on the back isn't as great I think it is really nice to have like loads of little ones they just look really really cute another idea is a phone charger this again was off secret sales this is just a power bank this one's quite big um, and you can charge a lot of things. You charge a camera, a iPad, an MP3, a GPS, a PSP and a phone. Which is quite a good idea because obviously you kind of need to charge lots of different things in your life. Especially as you've got like kids and stuff that have got like little consoles and stuff and like you're in the car um, and they need to use them. Don't, do kids even use consoles anymore? Is it more like just, you know, use your phone to play Angry Birds? Uh, anyway, a portable phone charger, I think it's a really, really good idea. I think a lot of people still don't have one, and they're really convenient, but I think it's a thing that a lot of people won't buy themselves. Um, I really like portable phone chargers. I use mine all the time, and mine was a gift to me, and I probably wouldn't have bought it myself either. Um, so yeah, definitely a good idea. I'm just going to read some little options that I've got off of my phone, um, and the first thing I've got here is a personalised print. I have got um, something like this for one person in my life, but they're currently not here so I can't show you them um, and I don't think I would show you them because I'm worried that it would get out of this video and then someone would go and tell the certain person. Um, I think it's a really good idea, again Etsy, um, I've, if you've seen my uni room tour for this room, which if you haven't I'll leave it down below. Um, I've got a quote wall which is directly behind the camera um, and I've got all different quotes on my wall in like frames and stuff and I really like them, I think they're a good gift for other people um, so yeah, really really like them um, and I think they're just really nice, you can get them on Etsy um, you can get ones that you can download and print off yourself or you can also get ones that you can kind of um, get sent and you get like the printed copy yourself um, and they're in the post um, and then you can just pop them in a frame and stuff really nice present, really personalised and I just think something that's really really nice obviously the ones on my wall are not going to be great for a man as they are not manly prints um but there's obviously a lot of manly prints you can get and things that relate to football teams or um kind of um TV shows and stuff like that as well. Um, if you want to go down the cheesy route, <laughs> which is absolutely perfectly fine, uh, but there's things you can make, like 52 things I love about you, 365 things I love about you, all of those kind of things, uh, scrapbooks, all of those kind of things. Uh, you can get a lot of inspiration on Pinterest, I think, for those. Um, and they do become a little bit more affordable. I think a scrapbook does cost quite a lot of money if you're going to do it right. I've done a scrapbook before, and it did cost quite a lot of money. Um, I did it. It was really good, though. I'll give myself that. I was quite few years ago uh, but it was a good scrapbook um, and yeah but it did cost quite a lot um, but I feel like when you do those 52 things I love about you or something you get like a jar don't you and pop like all your little like notes in there that's not going to cost you a lot of money at all so yeah really nice idea I think. Also things that I think are quite cute if you're getting them for your boyfriend or something you can do like little like love tokens like things say you haven't got much money at the time you can do things like um, a cinema trip pop that in like a little thing like a massage things like that put them in a little like jar or something like that and then give them to them and then kind of they can redeem the cinema trip in two months time or something like that uh, which is quite cute if you haven't got money at the time to kind of spend as money on Christmas um, as I just said, TV show related gifts. These are my favourites and Broccoli's favourites. We, whenever it's Christmas or our birthdays, we have a lot relating to Breaking Bad every single time. Um, I don't know, we just really like all the presents relating to Breaking Bad, basically. Um, but like, he got me a print for my birthday, um, which is on my wall over there. Um, and it was in a copper frame and it was just great. And it was a lot of presents I really, really liked. Um, so things like that, as I say, um, Etsy is your place to go. Also for presents, if you haven't looked on Not on the High Street, I would definitely recommend recommend getting on there have a little look at personalized things to get on there as well um, little gifts you can get and um, they do really nice leather bracelets on there and I've got one of those for someone in my life as well um, and I just I just think 
for me, I like presents, I like to buy people presents like aftershave, dressing gowns, clothes, stuff like that. And everybody that I buy for kind of gets that kind of present. But they also get something that is along the personalised route or a little bit more significant. Like, for example, this phone case for my dad. Um, like, things that are a little bit more significant and a little bit more personal to them. It looks like you've actually thought about the present. So I know this video wasn't that long, um, but I thought I'd include a couple of things that I've got. Um, I've also got, like, a couple of other random things for people uh, but I just thought they weren't gifts that I could say get this for your boyfriend because it's not something that every boyfriend would like if that makes sense. Thank you very much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this video and got a little bit of inspiration if you haven't I'm really sorry I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Uh, please leave me some ideas down below for any other Christmas videos you would like to see um, and I will speak to you all very very soon. Bye!